All right, so I'm doing it, okay? I've decided I'm doing it. I have spent the weekend looking at some of the macroeconomic events that's caused the market to sell off like it has. Um, I've looked at the valuations for some of the businesses in my growth portfolio, um, and the valuations have just been getting ridiculous, okay? They've been getting cheaper and cheaper to own, and it's just too attractive right now. So I'm the kind of person that I like to have about 25 to 30% of a cash pile ready for moments like this. And um, recently, with all the bloodshed that we've seen in the market, I've just been nibbling, okay? I haven't really loaded the bolts. I've just been buying a few shares here and there. You know, my Discord would know I've just been nibbling pretty much. But now I've decided that um, I'm currently sitting on about 23% cash. And over the next two weeks in the run up to Christmas, I am just sinking every single penny into the markets, okay? Uh, I think valuations right now are very attractive. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is it, okay? As in, like, this is the bottom and the market's going to go up. Uh, because I think even Jeremy, Jeremy from Financial Education, he did a video about going all in as well. Um, and I think he also admitted that he doesn't know whether this is the bottom. He thinks it's the bottom because he was looking at the P.E. ratio. He was looking at the historic charts of the P.E. ratio over the past couple of decades. And he thinks right now could be a great time to go all in. But I'm also looking at the valuations. I'm also looking at the macroeconomic events that's currently occurring. I, I think now is the time for me. Not, it might not be for you, but for me. I want to go all in, okay? And worst case scenario, this is how it plays out in my head. Worst case scenario, I go all in, I invest my cash pile into the markets and the market goes lower. Then that's not a problem because over the next couple of months, over January, February, I'm going to be picking up additional shifts in the MRI clinics and, you know, earning a lot more from my career. And also my businesses are picking up, you know, it's over the Christmas period. We're going to make a lot of money from my Airbnb business. And also my other business ventures are bringing money in. So I'm going to put myself in a position where I'm going to deplete my entire cash pile. And if the market goes lower, I can then spend next month, so January, February, building up my cash pile once again to take advantage of even further discounted prices because look i'm in these businesses for the long term all of these investments that we're making these are assets okay so i'm not wasting money on liabilities i am buying more and more assets and i'm building my wealth as the market goes down in the hopes that once rationality returns to the markets we'll start to grow our wealth on the way up so that's my rationale. That's my thinking. I'm going to go into more depth and show you why I believe we could see a U-turn uh, as early as next week, Friday. But before we dive into that, if you want to know what I'm buying and selling in real time, you need to join my Discord group and the Patreon link is in the description below. I'll be alerting all of my Discord members. But in this video, I'll just show you three stocks that I'm going to be looking to sink some money into over the next two weeks, especially if the prices continue to get cheaper. So with that said, if you get any value, please make sure you smash the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all of my latest video content with that said let's dive into it so we're here on stock unlock and i want to give a shout out to daniel pronk if you don't know him he's a fantastic youtuber and also a fantastic investor this is his software that he's built for investors called stock unlock you can actually join the waiting list right now so if you if you type in stockunlock.com join the waiting list uh, i believe it's launching on december the 11th or december the 15th don't quote me on that double check but definitely there's a waiting list right now you can join but i mean the attention to detail that this guy has put in this platform is incredible okay so we have airbnb up right now you've got all these question marks right next to you know market cap industry and essentially explains to you what it means. So for example, you've got market cap, okay? So the market cap for uh, Airbnb is 104 billion, but let's say you're a newbie investor and you're not entirely sure what market cap means. All you gotta do is press that and it gives you the definition, okay? And it shows you how you can calculate it and how and why to use it, sick, okay? This platform is sick. Now, Daniel Pronk has given me early access because he's my guy, all right? Um, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not getting sponsored or nothing like that. I just think this platform is going to be incredible, especially for new investors. And maybe if you are a seasoned investor and you want to refresh your memory on some certain definitions, it's very, very good. You know, you've got shares outstanding. Again, it tells you the definition, how to calculate it, and how and why to use it. So if you are interested, go on stockunlock.com, join the waiting list, and you'll be notified once it launches.
but back to the topic at hand okay so airbnb this stock has been absolutely battered and bruised since earnings okay earnings came out and it was absolutely incredible as you can see that we've got the net income in yellow we have the gross profit in green and we have the revenue in orange they've all been trending in the right direction okay again the revenues the gross profits the net incomes um, it's been going upwards however the stock if you take a look at the stock over the last week it's been going down there's a disconnect between the performance of the stock versus the performance of the business and this is exactly what you love to see okay so you had this dip here this was of course during the whole lockdowns but now the majority of us are coming out of lockdowns i know with the new variant now there's threats of potential lockdowns i think austria i think in austria they're in full lockdown so that fear is what's causing the market to really just sell off airbnb i mean it's been bloody ever since earnings like i said look throughout the whole month it's just been pretty much red all day long but this in my opinion is just a short term catalyst that is further discounting the stock meanwhile everything about the business is going up so, so airbnb is at the top of my list to completely load the boat on if you take a look at the analyst estimates you can see the highest price target for analysts is at 262 dollars and that represents a 57.42 percent upside from the current price the average analyst estimate is 201 dollars and that represents a 20 percent upside from market close on friday and even the median okay the median at 198.90 still represents a 19.28%. But on the low analyst estimates, you have a price target of $141, which is a downside of 15%. But even if you go with the average, okay, the average is $201, and that represents 20% upside for us investors if we invest now. And as the stock price continues to decline, the risk becomes less, and that represents a greater upside for the contrarian investor that will take advantage of this fear. So next up is hymns hymns is a similar story it's just been a bloody descent for as long as you've been in the stock everyone that's in this stock right now uh, is pretty much in the red okay you can see at the highs here at 24.46 it's been a downward spiral and you know a lot of people are asking me the question like where is the bottom i mean the market cap right now you can see is at 1.1 billion this is insane this is absolutely insane so again you have a scenario whereby the stock price has been on a decline but if you take a look at the revenue revenue has been going what upwards the revenue has been going in one direction and the gross profit as well has been improving sequentially but none of the growth that we're seeing in the fundamentals of the business is reflecting in the stock the stock has just been battered so again this is the perfect scenario whereby the business metrics is going up but the stock is going down fantastic give me more hymns shares and i announced this on my community page a couple of days ago that hymns are now in bed bath and beyond so think about it over the past two weeks hymns has announced a partnership with walgreens we've uh, launched we've gone full scale on amazon okay they announced a partnership with uber eats which will enable an on-demand service and customers are able to have their hymns products delivered directly to their doorstep now they're in bed bath and beyond you can see it's a new arrival and the company haven't even released a pr about this like wall street are not even aware of this and i, and I guarantee you the reason why they probably haven't is because it's just going to further depress the stock even more and i tweeted this the other day i said buy and continually verify and that's a quote from brian ferodi a fantastic investor and he's also on youtube check him out i said hymns products are now available at bed bath and beyond andrew and the team continue to execute as this is good news i expect wall street to send this stock down to four dollars so i can buy more for even cheaper again focus on the business focus on the management buy and continually verify okay as far as i'm concerned as long as the revenue continues to exponentially grow as it is and the stock continues to go down give me more shares please okay so another company that i'm going to be keeping an eye on is celsius okay tick a symbol is c-e-l-h this is a company that's been battered as well over the past day if you look at it over the past week over the past month it's been bloodshed okay but ever since we set that all-time high it's lost close to half of its value and currently the market cap is now sitting at 4.7 billion dollars but again take a look at the business what is the business doing so if you take a look at the key business metrics for this company the orange line represents the revenue green is gross profit and uh, the yellow is net income again look at the revenue absolutely exploded 159 percent year over year now admittedly net income did take a bit of a hit 
and that was due to the additional expenses in our cans there's a supply chain shortages with aluminium cans that had an impact on our bottom line but it's very very minimal and again once all of the supply chain issues are resolved i mean it's only going in one direction okay and i think with the stock tanking as it is it presents a great opportunity for us to load the boats and that's exactly what i'll be doing now onto the macroeconomic factors okay so here we have the cpi data okay and one of the main concerns of wall street and also other investors is inflation okay the big the big i word inflation okay if you take a closer look at the cpi data okay the main contributor to inflation or the highest cpi data was predominantly energy okay so if you look at the fuel cost the fuel cost in september was at 3.9 and that jumped to 12.3 okay gasoline as well it was at 1.2 in september and it jumped a huge jump to 6.1 in October okay however something interesting has been happening to the price of crude oil so as you can see this is where we were in September and when the October report came out in November it was sky high we saw that in the CPI data report but take a look at this since November we've been on a sharp decline okay crude oil has been trending downwards okay so we had that inflection point at the beginning of November we saw a decline, then it spiked back up. But ever since then, throughout the majority of November, crude oil has been going down. Okay, it's been downtrending. Also, take a look at gasoline. Okay, so again, if you look at where we were in September, we were, we were ranging between 2.1 and 2.2. But as soon as October came along, we pretty much went from 2.2 to 2.5. But again, that inflection point happened early November and the cost of gasoline has declined sharply now the new cpi data coming out for november is this friday so this coming friday we're going to get the new updated report and i think because we have now seen the energy prices pretty much declining throughout the whole of november i think don't quote me on this but it's my guess that the cpi data report is going to come out a lot less than it was in october which could signal that inflation or the rate of inflation is starting to slow and if you take a look at the russell 2000 we had that cpi data report on the 10th of november and it's pretty much been a downward spiral since then so the russell 2000 itself dropped over 11 percent on the result of that data so my guess is on friday i believe we're going to see the numbers tick downwards and that might restore some enthusiasm back onto wall street thinking okay inflation is starting to slow Stocks have gotten dirt cheap due to the CPI data as well as tax selling which began early November and again you have that 30 day wash rule that's going to start expiring at the start of December and what do you think will happen to the markets? I believe we could start to see us trend upwards once again. So this is why I've decided that I'm going all in in the markets. Like I said, I could be completely wrong. You know, the numbers could come out and Wall Street might not even be impressed by those numbers and we continue downwards. And like I said, I'm happy to just sink all my money in and then spend early next year building up my cash reserves and then buying more. So that's my plan going towards the end of this year. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Is it a wise move? Is it a wrong move? um yeah whatever your thoughts comment in the section below but thank you so much for your time and i'll catch you in the next one peace